kids, welcome to Ya. I miss Chrissy and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Have you ever wondered how to pray or have you ever asked yourself if God would listen to our prayers? Well, in today's lesson, Jesus taught us how to pray. But before we check it out, let's literally pray. Alright, Dear Holy Father, we thank you so much for today. Lord, we are so ready to just new, learn a new lesson with you and we're so excited. Please bless us and bless this lesson in your mighty name. Amen. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 through 4. You know, there are a lot of things that we just don't know about Jesus. What was his favorite food? What kind of games did he like to play when he was growing up? How many brothers and sisters did he have? But there's one thing we do know. Jesus loved to talk to his father, God. In fact, Jesus made a habit of prayer. He would even slip away early to spend time in the quiet with God before the crowd showed up. His closest friends, the disciples, saw how important prayer was to Jesus. But they had some of the same questions you might have. When should I pray? Oh, what kind of words should I use? How do I talk to someone I can't see with my eyes? One day, Jesus took time alone to pray, as usual, and when he was finished, one of his friends got up the courage to ask, Lord, teach us to pray. Now, Jesus didn't get frustrated with his friends for not understanding how to pray, and he didn't give them this long list of complicated words. When thou prayest, thou must speaketh thusly. And Jesus didn't tell them to set aside five hours every day to pray. Begin praying promptly at 6.41, then go till 11.07 with exactly one break at 9.22 a.m. for a sip of water. Instead, Jesus gave his friends a simple example. When you pray, this is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Well, okay, that's great. It's simple. It's direct. So does that mean we just memorize that prayer and say it over and over to God? Well, actually, it is a great idea to memorize that prayer. But God likes it when we get creative, when we take the ideas from that prayer and make them our own. Let's take a look. Father, may your name be honored. Because of Jesus, we can all call God Father. He's like the best parent ever, a perfect one. And there is no one else in the whole world like God. May your kingdom come. A prayer is not making God do something for us. God is a king. He made everything and everyone, and his kingdom comes when we show our love to him by giving his love to those around us. Give us each day our daily bread. Okay, let's see. We got white bread, rye, uh, the weird nutty kind, gluten-free, Kaiser roll, tortilla. Actually, this part of the prayer isn't just about bread or really not just about food. It's about humbly asking God for everything we need every single day, including food, clothes, shelter, connection with other people, kindness, patience, and grace, the things we need in fresh supply every single morning. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us. There is not a single day that we do not mess up in some way. You snap at your little brother. You laugh along when other kids are making fun of the new girl. You sneak an extra cookie without asking. Jesus said it's important to start fresh each day, to ask for forgiveness and freely offer forgiveness to others who have hurt you too. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Jesus knew that every day you would face tough situations that would threaten to trip you up. Times that you would maybe be tempted to not act in a way that showed love to others. And in those moments, you can use God's strength as a, as a lifeline to carry you through. Okay, there is a lot packed into that one simple prayer. But if you found a quiet place and put it into your own words, it might sound a bit like this. Dear Father, there is no one like you. 
please help all of us to show your love to each other. Give us everything that we need to get through today. Please erase all the wrong things I've done and help me not to hold on to the wrong things others have done to me. Give me your strength to keep from doing anything that hurts you or anyone else today. In your name, amen. You can use these ideas from Jesus' prayer to talk to God anytime, anywhere. Whether it's 20 seconds or 20 minutes, it fills God's heart with joy when you choose to connect with Him. I sure am thankful that Jesus taught us how to pray. He told us to tell God that He's great and you can thank Him for what He's done for us. Ask God for what we need, ask for forgiveness from God and from others, and ask for help to do the right thing. Prayer will help us to practice praying to God. When we use it as a guide, we'll never run out of things to talk to God about. Now, it's time for our key passage! Are you ready for today's key passage? Today's key passage is taken from 1 Timothy 4 verse 8. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. Great job, kids. It's quiz time! Today, we only have one question, but there are five parts to the answers. Are you ready? All right, what are five things we can do to practice praying to God? Number one, do you remember kids? That's right, it's praise. Tell God that He is great and thank Him for what He has done for us. Number two, what is it guys? Come on, you got it. That's right! Ask! Ask God for what we need! Alright, number three. Do you know it, guys? Come on. You guys are correct! Ask! Ask for forgiveness! It's getting there. Number four. Do you remember? Yup, it's gift. Give forgiveness freely to others. All right, this is the last one. Last one, guys. You got it. Yes! It's asking for help to live like Jesus. Great job, kids! Well, that's it for today, kids. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday with us. Remember, we have our weekly contents on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We'll see you in our Zoom classes later this afternoon. But before we go, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. Lord, I pray for us to have a deeper relationship with you, Jesus. I pray that we're able to talk about things with you. We can able, we're able to just share our thankfulness with you for what you've done, Lord. And I pray that you will bless our week ahead. In your mighty name, we all say amen. Happy Sunday, kids. Bye-bye.